self-proclaimed makeup addict. I honestly think that I have all of Sephora in my room. It is This morning, both of my curling irons broke. One broke while I was in Europe and last week, and the other one just wouldn't heat up this morning. So I had to straighten my hair instead of curl it. So I'm kind of. Today, I have a super fun day planned, and I'm going to be with my friend Rachel. We're going to go to a really cool place in New Hampshire. So I can't wait for you all. from Texas just asked me who my favorite Disney princess is and it had to be Merida because she created her own destiny and she didn't need them. So I just got asked what my dream car is and it's actually a Porsche Cayenne. When I was in Moscow last week I saw like a good zillion of them and they're gorgeous and I really can't wait to you know have my own. We'll be just asking what my favorite animal is and it's a zebra and here's a fun fact I was a vegetarian. Preston from Mississippi just asked me what advice I would give to someone who's young and doing a pageant and my best advice would be to just be yourself. Don't try to be anyone you're not. And just have fun. Ashley from Indiana, she just asked me what my gown looks like for Miss Teen USA and if it's my dream gown. And yes, it is my dream gown and it is a ball gown and that's all I can say. Hey Liz, thanks for asking an awesome question. So my biggest inspiration is my mom. She's the strongest woman I know. She has gone through so much and I'm so thankful. Family came to America in the year 2000 with $500 in their pockets and a two-year-old me. My parents have gone through so many hardships and my mom has remained strong throughout her. Catherine, you just asked me what my strong part of pageants is, and I'm not really sure. I think it might be interview because I'm a people person. Leanne, my celebrity crush has to be Nick Jonas because I knew from day one he was the cutest Jonas brother, and now he's blowing up. So there. Got asked where I'm going to college next year, and I'm actually going to New York University, and I'll be studying liberal studies, but I plan on pursuing marketing and public relations. I'm so excited. Toya, congratulations on being a finalist in your pageant, and yes, I do speak another language. I'm actually fluent in Russian and I plan on being fluent in French. Hey Samantha, you just asked me how many pageants I've done and this is actually my first one. So I feel so blessed to have this opportunity to be on the Miss Teen USA. Somebody just asked me what country I came from before I came to America and I actually came from Latvia. That's where I was born, but I identify myself as Latvian, Ukrainian, and Russian. So right now I stopped at a harvest market in New Hampshire. We have a ton of these because New Hampshire is really, has a lot of organic non-GMO foods. The harvest market is super duper cute. There's a ton of foods like these and it's awesome. I love going to these with my family. See, why do you do this to me? You just asked me what my favorite ice cream flavor is and it's chocolate and I've been craving it for the past like two weeks so thanks for reminding me. Got asked to speak Russian on my snap story so here goes nothing. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Валерия Подобный, и я хочу говорить Мисс Тиньо. Я сразу была на диете, и now I am not. I am just eating really healthy. I'm eating turkey and veggies and fruits and all that stuff. I mean, you can't have muscles like these by eating nothing, you know? I am from Colombia, just asked me if I have a boyfriend, and yes, I do. His name is Kolya, and he's actually in Moscow, right? Today I'm exploring Amherst in New Hampshire with my friend Jesse and Rachel. Say hi, Rachel. takeover had to do with my final score and I think that would be fine I mean the judges really look for something different every year yeah
made from Miss Teen USA is actually going to be random. I really love surprises and I can't wait to see who I got asked what my favorite state is besides New Hampshire and I know a lot of states. I've been to 45. So my second favorite state would have to be California. Just asked if you could have a belly ring for Miss Teen USA and I don't think you can but I have mine pierced right now but I plan on to. I don't wear my sash and crown. I keep them in a little case that I got when I won Miss New Hampshire Teen USA. Here's a fun fact. I actually saw Finding Dory when I was in Moscow last week and it was in Russian. It was awesome. You could just ask me if I've ever been to Mississippi and yes I have. I actually went to the Mississippi River. You could just ask me what my favorite part about being Miss New Hampshire Teen USA is and it has to be the people I meet. I've met people from all walks of life from my platform and We made it, finally. So right now we're at Rock Rimmon, which is in Manchester, New Hampshire, and I'm about to show you. It's gonna blow your mind. Asked if I've ever been to Louisiana, and yes, I went to New Orleans, and it's beautiful. Joe just asked me if I've ever been to South Dakota, and no, I haven't. It's actually one of the five states that I haven't been to, but I hope to visit it very soon. Just got asked what my number one travel essential is, and that has to be a good book because you never know when you'll have some free time, and it's way better than sitting on your phone. How long I'll be in Vegas, and I'll be in Vegas from the 24th until the 30th, and hopefully a little bit later, if you know what I mean. I just got asked where my necklaces are from, and this one I just got is from Forever 21. It was like $3. And this one, my godparents actually gave it to me. I have been to Nebraska. It's a cool state. I wish I got to see more of it, but I did eat some corn while I was. I got asked what my favorite TV show is, and I don't have one because I don't have a TV. Question all the way from Columbia, and she asked what my favorite sport is. That has to be tennis. I've actually been playing for about 11 years now. I don't have a favorite singer, but my favorite band has to be Odessa. <laughs> and I actually saw them at a music festival in Boston last week. And just asked if I've ever met any celebrities, and I don't think so. But does Miss Tino say could ask who my favorite athlete is? And that would be Serena Williams, just because she's such a strong woman, both literally and figuratively. And she plays tennis, and I've actually been playing tennis for 11 years. <laughs> Just asked what exercises I do in preparation for Miss Teen USA, and I actually kickbox, do heat yoga, hike, and then I just do weightlifting with my favorite trainer. Rachel is one heck of a driver, let me tell you, but I just got asked if I'm a girly girl or a tomboy, and I'm 110% a girly girl. I love makeup, dressing up, and all. Girl, I just got asked what are some healthy tips for vegetarians, and since I was a vegetarian for a year, I learned that it's very hard to find enough protein in your diet and to not to turn to carbs, but getting enough protein from things like mushrooms or beans or even nuts is super important in order to maintain a healthy diet while being a vegetarian. Girl, I just got asked if I've ever been to Kentucky, and yes, I have. I didn't go to the Kentucky Derby though, so we just got asked what states I have visited, and I hope to visit them one day, but so far it's been Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Alaska. Shannon, I have visited Rhode Island. I think it's a beautiful state. I actually stayed a week at Block Island, and my friend Rachel is going to Providence College. got asked what my favorite part of competition is from Miss Teen USA, and I think it has to be interviewed because I love showing the judges who I am and what I stand for. But I've been to Missouri, it's awesome. And shout out to Miss Missouri team, Dallas Missouri. Desert. Love you, girl. Got asked what my favorite book is, and this is an awesome question, so thank you so much for asking it. And my favorite book has to be Looking for Alaska just because I love the main. Just got asked what my favorite makeup brand is, and that's a really hard question because I swear I'm in Sephora 24 7. I spent so much money there, I don't even want to talk about it. But probably makeup forever. And from New Jersey, you are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for asking me how my foot is. It's throbbing but it's okay never really told anybody how i injured my foot but i'm about to tell you and it's kind of fun so anyway i'm super duper competitive and when i hit the bat i ran to first base right well my foot got on the base weird and i ended up but he just asked me if i would ever go to north dakota and yes i would i would love to go to all 50 states um sometime in the, ne in the near they're my keys they're my lifeline here's my pepper spray that i always keep handy in case i need it to protect myself have my gym membership my library card a v I'm gonna tell you guys a couple things about myself, some fun facts. First one is I'm super into astrology. I'm very spiritual in that sense. So if anyone has any questions about that, feel free to ask. Now I'm taking you guys to a really cool place. It's actually somebody's house, but it's also a farm stand. Passionate about having organic, locally grown foods 
in my personal kitchen. I think that everybody should do the same. So I try to shop here when I- This is a store and right now it's closed, but they have milk and honey and sometimes meat. And right here you can feed the goats and they're really, really cute. It's a cow, look how cute. And Rachel, cow, Rachel, cow. <laughs> These are the traditional Russian nesting dolls I got when I was in Moscow last week. I got them as presents for my friends, families, and- You know how I told you guys that I've been to 45 states? Well, here is the proof because I got a uh, magnet in every state that I've ever been to. Traditional Ukrainian soup and it's called a kroshka. It's made with kefir which is super healthy and also water and has a ton of different veggies and I eat it when I'm training for Miss Teen. I've been a princess since day one, clear. So these are my stairs. I know they look super cool but try falling down them then they won't look so what my opinion is about the switch from swimwear to fitness wear and I really think it's a positive change. I think that it's going to promote a healthier lifestyle for girls and in the end be positive. Changed twice today and I hope you like my outfit. me what I often crave and thanks for reminding me I always crave chocolate and peanut butter cups actually I might go buy some right now someone just asked me a really cool question they asked me how to be more spiritual since I'm into astrology and numberology and all those cool things and I would just say just read books get them from your library they're really awesome <laughs> Good shout out to the best trainer in the entire world, Janelle. She kicks my butt at Body Ambitions Fitness, and I just really want to thank her for getting me to wear. I also want to thank my dress sponsors, Bella Sarah. Thank you so much for keeping me dressed in the latest fashions for all my best. Oh, and Neil for these gorgeous locks, and Rita for teaching me how to do my makeup. And of course, Lash Bar for my eyes. Is your refrigerator running? No? Okay, well, I just got asked if I ever made a prank call, and yes, I have. I've done a fair share of those. Oh my gosh, I really love this question. So I just got asked what my astrological sign is, and it's Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. So that means that I'm super driven and determined. It's on the Scorpio side, but on the Sagittarius side, I'm super outgoing and fun, and I like to make tons of friends. So yeah, that's me. And a super intriguing question. I just got asked if I would ever be vegan, and if so, what would inspire me to make this? The question is absolutely, I believe that our food nowadays isn't food anymore, it's chemicals, it's pesticides, it's antibiotics, so I'd always love to make it. Super sorry if I didn't get to answer your question, but it's nighttime for me, so have a good night everyone, thanks for watching.